Hello. Hope you're doing well today. I want to show you a few things on the Central Arkansas MLS, the Carmels as they call it. Uh, it's called up here the Cooperative Arkansas Realtors MLS, uh, Carmels. Uh, there are a number of things on here that you on the dashboard. I'm here at the home dashboard um, that uh, you can you really need to know what's going on. Number one, you can go over here to my info right here and you can see your listings. You can see what you have. I have 18 listings today uh, is what I have going on. And I can click on that 18 right there and it'll bring up all of my listings. Bingo. There they are. And then it'll it'll give me the market report right here. So I can click on there in the mar in my local market, what I have set up in my preferences up here uh, that I want to be actually preferences over here. Then the market uh, that I'm interested in, which is the central Arkansas area, central Little Rock area and uh, surrounding small cities right around Little Rock. Um, it, it says I have 33 new listings or there is so I can click on that. And it's going to show me a list of, of those. I can click on the zip. You see how it's kind of jumbled up. If I want to sort it, I click on this. And it's going to sort it by zip code, put them all together. So it kind of helps me show, you know, where I see some uh, heights in Hillcrest. There's one on Ruth Ann, just about a mile from my house, or or not even a mile from my house, just very short from the, from the office here. And um, so it kind of puts it, if you're looking in the, you know, in the Heights Hillcrest area, there's 07, there's 05 in Hillcrest. Um, so you kind of get the picture there. Uh, you could sort it by list office by clicking that, and it'll put them all together. You can sort it by address. Any Are there any of these on the same street? Well, it's putting in alphabetical order, and you can kind of go down through there. Or you can sort it by price. Go over there and click that, and it's going to go from low to high. Or you can click it again, and it'll go from high to low. So um, depends on your depends on your um, um, on your taste buds. I mean, uh, or, you know, if you're on a uh, a beer uh, diet, a beer budget, as they say, and uh, beer budget with a wine appetite, you know. So it kind of depends on how you want to sort that out for your buyers, and then status, of course, there. So that is the market monitor right here on this that you see here and then office you can click in for the whole office or the firm and if you're running a team and you're designated a team officially with caramels you could actually click on here and see your statistics with your team so that is an important thing you need to know about down here are some other things you know that are contact activity these are things that are happening in the last seven days you can set that in your preferences up here. And then again, the calendar, it tells you what the day is. And there's some other features that you can actually rock with calendar. Um, very important part over here on this right-hand side. Pretty cool stuff. And if you want to change it up, you can click your the little gear. You can change where. So when I said that in my new that the market I'm looking at, the market I'm interested in uh, here that's going to report these numbers here on market info right there. Uh, if I go up here and click the little gear, then um, it can help me. It can let me designate the areas. So, you know, I can go in. You can click this little right hand. You can actually click what you want. And if I was interested in... Um, in Glenwood, Arkansas, for instance, even for a short time, I could click there and it would start or Arkadelphia. I could click one of these or all these and it would uh, it would start including those areas with with these things, expireds and news into the list of market that I'm watching. So the market is very uh, changeable and you can manipulate what you're seeing simply by clicking this gear right here. And uh, so, you know, right here it says I'll, I only want to see, uh, actually I do want to see multifamily um, uh, lately in rentals. I do want to change it, so I'm going to do that, change that. That's going to change my whole dynamics over here. And uh, the types of listings, you know, I can click there and, uh, and, and look at things also. 
So for now, I'm going to click on this, and it uh, it didn't change any new listings there, as you'll see, but uh, I added in some rental uh, properties. So that is on the right-hand side of the screen. Over here on the left side of the screen, there's some Paragon News. You can click that little drop-down, and it'll tell you there's a new release, and it'll kind of give you some news there. Message Center, uh, you know, there's no messages uh, today quick search you know I can click that and I can quickly uh, I could put in a street or an MLS number you know I can put 19015656 and click that I can come along and put 19015657 uh, 19015658 uh, uh, and there are three listings there. And what I do a lot is uh, then I'll search. If I know the MLS numbers, then I can do that, and it'll bring up just those. I can click all three of these by clicking that top box. And I can go over here to Reports. I can click on that and go to the Google Map. Now, you may find it down here, but I'll tell you, you can grab these and move them around. You can click and hold it. And you can move it where you want to put it. And so if there is a, um, over here on this reports, if there is a CMA or specialty view that you want to move up to your favorites, all you got to do is click and hold, click on it and hold it. And as you hold it, move it up here to favorites and let go of your mouse and it will drop it into your favorites. So these are my favorites. You know, I've, I've I want to see things. Uh, these are some different um, favorite things that I use more often. And uh, these down here are things that are still more reports that are available, but not stuff I use very often. So I have things in my favorites that I've pulled from all these other places here. So what I did was I used those three numbers, those MLSs. I dropped them into, um, uh, I chose, and then I went to, Google Maps right here and uh, and it's popping up Google Maps so it's saying that here's one two and three and uh, you can zoom out with your mouse and so uh, I just made those numbers up so you know one is down around Texarkana and one's up here around Heber Springs one's right here in Little Rock but what you can do is you can kind of see then where these not where these listings are are falling that way you could you could Pick. You could start in Texarkana and work your way with your client on showings. You could work your way right up through here and end up here, for instance. But more than likely, you're going to be in the city. So you'll zoom in to an area and down to street level. Keep zooming in. And uh, and you could, you could see there's one listing here, one here, and one over here. Well, it keeps you from driving back and forth and all over. If you'll look at your Google map. And, uh, and then you can put them in order. You can actually click and hold, and I think you can, uh, there's a, over here on the spreadsheet, you can actually um, move them, I believe. So there's a way to move them, and you can figure that out. So that's another thing there on the quick search that is very usable. You could search by zip code. You know, I want to know, um, let me, let me delete all these right here. And I could say, I want to know what's what's sold in uh, a zip code. So 72135 uh, in Roland area. And it's going to pull up, I mean, a total history. So it's no telling what the number is going to be. Total history in the MLS. Uh, it says, uh, gives me statistics up here. But there's... Um, does it tell me how many there are? It, it, it will. Oh, there it is. 353 properties has sold. Listing count, 353. The average days on market are hot, the high is 1678. So this helps you get some numbers. You can also draw a map around that and, um, and do similar things like that as well uh, to get your days on market for a general area. So this quick search also, again, you can click the gear, go up here to this quick search over here, click the gear, 
and you can change what you see. If you got too much stuff you don't want to see, you can you can click on it and you can remove it over to here. It shouldn't say remove, it should say move that way and move that way. And this is what you're going to see and this is what is available to put in what you see. And uh, so you can you can manipulate what you see and don't see over here. Like if I want to see everything that I, I hear that Timothy King a guy is an amazing realtor. Yes, he is good looking too. And I say I want to see everything that he's done lately. Then uh, I can click on that and um, it's going to bring up stuff that's in the MLS, albeit that I've got a history of 22 years that goes way beyond all this. So, um, you know, don't judge me on 58 listing content. That's just um, what's in the MLS. Um, done private subdivision work, and I've done a lot of consultation and a lot of other things as well in real estate. So these are some of the features here. Uh, when you get up here and you look at listings, and uh, this is how you manipulate your listings, you can add a listing. This is where you'll add a residential or a multifamily, like, you know, a condo or, or duplex, vacant land for lots and acreage, commercial, industrial, rental. This is where you add things to the MLS, is under this listings. If you, if you already have something in the MLS or you have a partial, half done you know something over here that's half done you saved it as a partial then there you can come back to it through listings scroll over to partials and you can bring up partials if you want to maintain listings that you have already in place you go to maintain a listing here so that's under listings over to maintain these are things already in the works these are things you're creating here CMA is a beautiful feature, and you need to go to one of the Carmel's classes and, uh, and figure out this, how to use this CMA presentation. It is, it'll make you a beautiful, beautiful CMA presentation. Contacts are a way you can add in your contacts. You can manage contacts. Uh, you can add a contact. You can set up groups. Um, so it's, it's really good stuff. There's also ways to do some reverse prospecting and all as well. When it comes to financials, this is an amazing tool because you can do um, a, you can find that you can access your um, let me click on that again your net proceeds right here uh, for a seller, or you can access any of these other financial calculators. It's um, it's really helpful when you're talking to your clients. Uh, for you to say, you know, you're not a financial advisor now un unless you are. So you got to be careful not to overstep your bounds. But if you're helping someone, uh, a first-time home buyer, and you're having conversations with them, there are some financial calculators here that can really, really help help you help them. You can sit down with them one-on-one, -on -one and you can kind of walk through the uh, the, the different things. Like, uh, you know, 15 year versus 30 year. You can talk to them. And as you educate and train your buyer in the process of helping them buy a house, you should be educating your buyers. Don't just leave them out there and lead them to a house and say, sign here. That's not your financial fiduciary uh, best interest of your client. You need to educate them with knowledge and information and uh, do everything you can to make sure that they're making a complete and total wise decision for themselves. And so these financial calculators will let you do these kind of things. You, amazing stuff here in this right here. You can go to tax data. This is tax records. Uh, this is really good stuff. The CRS data right here is a pretty amazing thing. You can click on that. It'll take you to a beautiful website that has your brokerage logo, your information that you've set up in your preferences here, in this preferences, and uh, this CRS data is something you can put together and slide into your listing presentation when you go listing. There's also some prospecting features as well that you can use with this um, under the tax feature, this CRS data tax search. 
membership reports. Uh, if you want to look up a realtor or you want to print mailing labels, which mail and postcards are just not very effective these days. Internet is where it's at. 90, about 93 to 95% of people that buy or sell a home find their house through their smartphone, through the their computer, the internet. So mailing is just not what it used to be. Uh, in fact, most people don't even look at their junk mail. They just throw it in the trash. It, it You don't even get one second look at most of your postcards and your junk mail uh, that's in your mailbox. I mean, think about what you do. Do you sit and read every piece of junk mail? Answer is probably not. You kind of sort through and find the important mail and the rest of it might get a second look as you drop it into the trash can to make sure you're not throwing away anything important. So if you do do mailing labels uh, or anything like that, make sure that it is big and bold and it counts because you might get a one-second look at any postcards you send out to neighborhoods or whatever. And it does work to a point. I have gotten a number of listings because I had sent out mail or postcards in the community. So it's not... It's not total waste, but it's a long-term commitment. If you're going to farm a community, uh, then you're going to uh, bring up the, it's not, this is not where you bring that stuff up. You can do it through tax records and you can do it through uh, this CRS and you can bring, find things through this prospecting. Uh, you can bring up people's uh, individual names and stuff and print off labels that way. Um and then print out mailing labels. Export it to a Excel document and print it out. Another thing, resources. There's a lot of things here. And one of the best resources is, um, I mean, you can go to Form Simplicity here in Central Arkansas. That's what we use. Realtors Property Resource, RPR here, is an amazing thing. If you go to RPR and log in, then you will find that there are I'm in the commercial side right here, and uh, I can flip over here to residential, and it looks blue. Again, I can go right back up here. I can click commercial. It goes to red. You can tell by the color where you are. I can go back to up here and click over to residential, and you can you can do a lot of things. Let me just um, let me type in uh, this 1809 Stewart Road. It's a listing I have under contract right now. And, um, you know, here's the information on it right now. But if you're working on a CMA or a listing presentation, you can also use RPR, uh, which is a very powerful thing. One more thing about the commercial side of it. There are a lot of reports and a lot of things such as you can um, you can search for commercial properties here. You can do a this in-depth analysis that you see right in here. There are a lot of things you can do, such as demographics. If you want to know how many Hispanics or Asians or, or people that make over $60,000 that live in a community, you can use RPR commercial to, to search out those things. Uh, RPR is amazing, and that is a series of classes. But what you need to do is just learn how to log into RPR, and then you need to go to the help feature. And uh, there are tons of videos. And you can also call down here. Uh, call them and they will help you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So if it's midnight and you want to, uh, you're up, can't sleep, or you work nights. And you can, you can train yourself uh, right here. Here's learning and support. You click on this learning and... Um, there is a wealth of information here on RPR. This is amazing. And, um, of course, if you need help, you can call me. But look at this. You can set yourself up for to get notifications on any of these things as well. So you can find that right through your caramels, your resources. Go to RPR. <clears throat> you can also go to Form Simplicity. You can go to Community Reports, uh, a, a number of things there. And then preferences is exactly what it is. It's what you set up as your preferences. You can go to preferences and set up your CMA reports and um, your user preferences. You can put in your, your logo and all those things.
So that's that. Uh, that is on caramels. I hope that helps. Uh, and caramels uh, has free classes. Did I say free? F R E E free classes uh, that you can go to. Uh, one thing they do request is if you sign up for a class that you go because in the past they've had problems with people signing up for classes and then not showing up or they'll have a brokerage. They'll set up five or 10 people and then suddenly something changes and they don't go. And so it leaves the room empty if, uh, and Carmel's has, has, scheduled and and they're standing there waiting on a class to show up and nobody shows up that's not fair to carmel so if you sign up for a class free class do go or cancel within reason reasonable time and uh, but there are free classes you can go as much as you want as many times as you want they have computers sitting there that they encourage you to use and um, so uh, good stuff all right guys uh, remember that god created you for excellence. He is excellence and you're in his image. And so in the image of God, in the image of the Almighty, uh, human beings are the only thing in the image of God and you are one of them. And uh, so brood on that, marinate on that just a little bit. And uh, it'll kind of influence what decisions you make today and tomorrow and uh, kind of make you feel better about yourself that out of all of creation, the only thing created in the image of God, in God's image, with his free will, with his ability to create and think, uh, to make decisions freely, uh, is a human being. And you're one of them. And uh, so uh, God loves you and uh, you're important to him. So uh, with that said, y'all call me if you need help. Talk to you later. Oh, 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 oh,